I got started when my father John decided that he wanted to try to grow grapevines and see if we could produce world-class wines here in Central Texas. And when I was 15, I started helping him out uh, planting our first acre and that first acre is here on top of the hill. We've now uh, added four more and that's our, our five acre estate here at Valley Mills Vineyards. Well, there are several advantages to growing grapes in this area. So hillsides are a, a great place to grow grapevines. Um, rocky soil uh, is really uh, what you want to look for in a good vineyard site. And so a lot of the land here west of Waco, Valley Mills, Clifton Meridian, um, has a lot of the elements that you want in a, in a quality vineyard site that has the, the potential to make good wine. We make a range of red, white, and rosé wines. We decide which wines to make uh, almost entirely based on which grapes will thrive in our climate and in our soils. And so we don't grow some of the more popular grapes if they're not well adapted to a, uh, a warm continental climate like we have here in Texas. Instead, we try to focus on grapes such as Tempranillo in our estate vineyard here. Um, being native to Spain, it's uh, very well adapted to hot, dry summers. And so we like to not fight nature and try to plant the vines that will uh, thrive in our area. So our work is very seasonal here at Valley Mills Vineyards. When growing grapes, you do a lot of farming and it's very hands-on in the vineyard from February all the way through harvest, which for us tends to be July and August. Once harvest hits, more of the work becomes winemaking. When we harvest grapes, we will bring them in and they'll immediately be crushed. There are uh, two divergent paths that you take depending on whether you're making a white or a red wine. For a white wine, you'll actually uh, crush and press or sometimes go straight to the press because you're just fermenting the juice of white grapes to make a white wine. For red wine, you're actually generally crushing, destemming. And then you're, um, you're macerating what we call must at that point, M-U-S-T which is that mix of juice and skins and seeds to, uh, for a red wine, and that allows you to extract a lot of the color, the tannin, the structural elements that uh, are present in the skins of the grapes. And uh, you'll only press those red wines, uh, generally post-fermentation, depending on the style that you're looking for. For white wines, for rosés, there's a, uh, a short aging period, generally uh, in stainless steel, and so um, those wines can be harvested and bottled as, uh, as quickly as four or five months later. For red wines, um, for us, we do traditional barrel aging in 60 gallon barriques, and so that's a, more of a year and a half to a two year process, generally, to make a red wine. Here at the Estate Winery, uh, we entertain guests every day. We're open from noon to six daily, and we also do special events, uh, private events, weddings out here. We plan to become one of the top wineries here in Texas and to keep pushing the boundaries for quality and produce world-class wines here from locally grown grapes. One of our commitments is to always use 100% Texas-grown grapes, and within those parameters, we're going to keep experimenting with varietals, types of grapes, that uh, really thrive in our climate and have the potential to make world-class wines. I don't think we'll ever be one of the biggest wineries in Texas, but uh, we aim to be one of the best.